Hello Sagittarius, I'm Sammy. This is going to be your reading from now to the end of May. This will not resonate with every Sagittarius, but I'm hoping that it will reach, and it is my intention that it will reach at least most of you, at least with one or more messages uh, from the reading. So if it does resonate, please comment below what cards or circumstance resonated for you as it helps me and other Sagittarius who are viewing this. Cross-watchers are welcome, but keep in mind that you're spying. <laughs> uh, so you may not like what you hear, okay? Or you might, I don't know. So, um, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or any other important placements. We are coming into this Sagittarius full moon energy on the 26th. It is a total lunar eclipse. And it will be major for making life decisions, sticking with them, deciding um, if what you did was correct, etc. We're all transforming right now. I've been noticing a theme where we're all letting go of something. Something had to end, so something can be either reborn or transformed. And uh, it's just a, a major time of up-leveling for everyone. Choosing a path, choosing a new direction in many cases. So... Firstly, let's get into it. This is the Pleiadian Messages. It's the Shiji Oracle card deck. I really like it, and I've been doing these first just to see what the Pleiadians have to say about your energy from now to the end of May. Please give us a Pleiadian message for Sagittarius. Thank you. Ooh, this is a long one. Okay, let's see. I can't really get it to focus, but I'll read it to you. You are God, and you can do anything. And in becoming human, you have taken on the hardest role. Since you are more spiritually advanced than most, you can handle the human experience better than most. The only reason that you cannot go to the highest of realms now is because of the level of consciousness you are vibrating at while in the body computer. You are here to help change this. So, this is huge. I mean... Obviously, this is why we're here on the planet at this time, right? Is to help humanity's consciousness to elevate and grow. That's why we're here during this incredibly important time of ascension. So this is what we're doing. This is what you're doing. So as you raise your own consciousness, as you change and transform and ascend during this very important time and during this portal in your energy, Sagittarian moon coming up, this full moon, there will be a portal where you can ascend higher if you wish. Uh, you obviously have to do the work and you have to raise your vibration in order to receive those upgrades um, to be a match. But I believe in you, Sagittarius, if that is your goal. Many of us are doing this already and we don't even realize it. If you are of a high vibration, you will probably get those no matter what. Um, okay, so it's just so no one's offended. Uh, what the Pleiadians are saying for some who believe there is only one God, etc. This is just the understanding that Source, Creator, God, chose to split itself in billions or trillions of aspects in order to experience life and to raise the vibration of Earth at this time. So we are all aspects of Source and the little spark of God, and that's what it means. So you are God as in you are the Creator, you are a form of Source, in a human meat suit at this time. So I don't want anyone to get offended if they didn't understand the meaning of that card. Okay, so thank you. This is a Starseed Oracle. Let's talk about Sagittarius, please, from now to the end of May. I'm getting a very antsy energy all of a sudden. Like I'm really speeding up. So I don't know if you guys are getting pumped up, getting excited, if you're nervous for something. Um, big change coming up. I think you guys can feel it. A big life-changing decision coming up. You may be moving, traveling, uh, choosing a new career path. The Courageous Peony. Oh, that's beautiful. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. So you are very unique, Sagittarius. You're funny, you're wise, you're the seeker of truth, and people like your spontaneity, your adventure, adventurous 
heart and your sporty and competitive qualities as well. You make things fun. You enjoy fun and people like to be around you. So this is about letting your light shine. We have here called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. That's exactly what this Pleiadian message is saying. So Spirit is telling you now, be courageous. You have these gifts for a reason. And whether you know it or not, they're coming to the surface. You have been trained for this already. You are training and transforming yourself for this already. Let it be seen. It's time to step up. This is so powerful, Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. This is the Angels and Ancestors Oracle from now to the end of May. Sagittarius, please. From now till May 31st. Most important messages for Sagittarius. High is good. Jumpers, please. For Sagittarius. Hmm. Well, I'm getting such a strong energy for you guys. This is a very important reading. Tell me about Sagittarius, please. Important messages for Sagittarius from now to the end of May. All right, I'll take it. Traveler, oh, you guys are the travelers, aren't you? Move in a new direction. Spirit is calling you to step up now and move into your life's path. A new direction. Let's get this energy from the wisdom of the oracle. Okay. I just did Aries, so I want to make sure I... I'm in Sagittarian energy now. Tell me about Sagittarius from now to the end of May. Wow, you guys may feel like you're in a pressure cooker right now. Here and now. Here and now. Number 32. Three and two is five, which means change. Okay, notice fives. If you're seeing a lot of fives, five, five, five. Let's read it. Thirty-two. Here and now. Can you see? Okay. Being fully present in the moment, living one day at a time. Everything happens in the now, in the present. Only this moment counts. You have what it takes to handle anything today if you let go of the need to look into the future or reflect on the past. Be present and notice what is going on right now. This very moment has the potential for you to create miracles in your life. So, definitely preparing for change. Definitely... Accepting a new path and direction if you're guided. Okay, acknowledging that you are source. You can create anything you want. And allowing yourself to be seen. Allowing your gifts to be of use at this time. Time to step up, Sagittarius. And I think you're just going to continue to feel this more strongly as we enter this full moon portal. So we will enter that starting Sunday, the 23rd, the same day that Saturn goes retrograde. Saturn may bring an energy of slowing things down, coming to a stop. Because Saturn wants to know if you're serious. 
Do you have what it takes? Do you have a strategy and a plan? Or are you know are you serious about it? Are you willing to commit to, to something new in your life? Three of Wands. This is competition, sport, conflict, chaos. This could be arguments, that sort of thing. Conflict within. This could also be pushing towards a new adventure, fighting for something, fighting for something new. Willing to work towards and put in the action towards something new. Tell me more for Sagittarius from now. Whoa. King of Pentacles. So some of you are working towards something. You've decided on maybe a long-term investment. You may also have someone coming in towards you. We'll see more as we pull more cards, but you could have an earth sign coming towards you. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This feels like you're, you're ready to put in the work. You're ready to do whatever it takes. For this long-term stability and success, you want more money, you want new opportunities, and even if it takes a long time, it's like you're ready to be disciplined towards this now. You're wanting to work towards something. It's an investment of sorts. Tell me more for this energy for Sagittarius from now to the end of May. Shuffle. Okay. Thank you, guys. Is that good? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Two more. Okay, thank you. Tell me about Sagittarian energy from now to the end of May. What are they working on? What are they building towards? Okay. Seven of Wands. You may be feeling like you're having to defend yourself or your path or whatever it is you're willing to work and fight for here. You're definitely willing to put in the work. This is more action. This can be a defensive energy. Um, someone may have come to you and said, you're not doing this right, you're not making enough money, you're not disciplined, you're lazy, you don't care, <laughs> you're not taking action, whatever it is, maybe you got very defensive about it, I'm just saying. Take it how it resonates, that's not true for all of you. It's like knowing you need to fight for something, perhaps not knowing what that is yet. Seven of Swords. This is the card of uh, either running away from your problems or being sneaky, shady. You could be dealing with someone that you don't trust. And this is why you're defensive. For some of you, it's you who is being shady or sneaky. This is the card of the cheat, the thief, the liar. So, for some of you, Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius with a star here on the bottom. For some of you, it's like you're willing to do whatever it takes. You're willing to do anything for this energy, for this wish come true. It's like you have a wish. It's like as if you have one last chance. You feel you have one last chance to get this done, and so you're willing to do anything for it. Whatever this is that you're fighting for, working towards. Tell me about Sagittarian energy from now to the end of May. Tell me about Seven of Swords, please. Emperor. Okay, we have an uh, Aries type energy here. This is, I feel, you taking control back of your life. Standing up for yourself, 
choosing a path and sticking with it. You've had to make a decision and it feels like you couldn't make up your mind. You have too many options or this could be fantasy. It could be daydreaming, living in a fantasy realm. And this is why you couldn't decide which path to take because the path was unclear. It could also be dreaming, having a lot of dreams. This is about making a decision, standing up for yourself, becoming who you were meant to be. The emperor has to be disciplined. So this could be you uh, becoming more restrictive on yourself, becoming more disciplined, trying to build a strategy, but it's like you didn't know which way to go. You have all these options per se, or you at least have ideas where you think, well, that could work, well, maybe that could work out. But uh, it's like now you're actually starting to plan it. You may still have two paths here before you, and this is a card of, could be travel, or but it's like, it's interesting. It's a new passion, new creative energy coming in to where you're getting excited about the possible pathways for your future. Queen of Pentacles just fell out. So for some of you, you're dealing with a mother, a motherly type energy, or you are a mother. This is a very nurturing energy, but in this... In this circumstance, I'm getting a kind of a heavy energy with this card. So I feel like for some of you, if you're a mother, there's too much weight on your shoulders. Maybe the whole family is relying on you. Maybe all of your kids come to you for everything, for money, for love, for, for care, for counsel. For some of you, you're dealing with a motherly figure who is tired. Who has to be everything for everyone? I, I usually don't get that energy with that card. So if, if it resonates, take it. If not, uh, some of you could be dealing with the same type uh, earthly energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. For some of you, you're just going to choose the path that brings you the most financial abundance. Which puts you in a position to be more generous and loving and nurturing to those around you. Maybe you want to spend more time at home with the kids. This is wifey material. Maybe some of you are hoping to find a wife. This is someone who puts everyone else first. Very generous energy. Loving and nurturing. She's everything to everybody. Tell me a possible outcome towards the end of May for Sagittarius. Outcome. We have a lot of cards here. I'm feeling like you guys go back and forth about what it is you're supposed to be doing. You want to fight for something. You have that Sagittarian fiery energy. But it's like you're not sure what. For some of you, someone has taken advantage of you and you're standing in your power now. For others, maybe you took advantage of someone else. And you're having to come to terms with that. But you're deciding to choose a path. And it's like you're, you're really beginning to plan for it. This is a winning at all costs card. This can be inner, internal conflict. More conflict uh, as far as... we got two fives here, okay? So there's definitely change. But this is a, a major turning point in your life, Sagittarius, where you're going to have to choose... You have to make the choice. Two twos, two fives. Where you're going to stop taking from others. Or you're going to stop letting others take from you. Whichever you are. Whichever side of this you're on. This card is like, like, na 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 na. Like he, did, he fought them unfairly and won. He's victorious, but in a wrong sort of way. You can't be feeling defeated. Or you can't be feeling like you're the one who's been taking advantage of someone else. Or using others. And that's hard to come to terms with, if you even have that sort of awareness. You know what I mean? For others of you, this is you definitely being taken advantage of. Being used. Or improperly um, spoken to. I get a lot of energy, mental energy and harsh words with this card. And I feel that's the energy of this mother. She's tired of the BS.
So someone's going to get sick of this here. This energy of either being used or someone's going to come to terms with the fact that they don't want to use anybody else anymore. They're going to stand in their own power now. They're going to make choices for themselves and they're going to choose their life back. Many Sagittarius have been going through issues over the last year because the South Node is here in your sign. You're having to come to terms with the things you fall into, the bad habits, the things you go back to when you're not in the energy of your highest good. So that means victim mentality, making excuses, blaming everybody else, um, partying, overindulgence, go with the flow, you know, very relaxed energy where you're not taking responsibility for yourself. You guys are, have been having to face those types of energies or those types of people around you for the last year. What is the advice for Sagittarius from now to the end of May? What is the advice from now to the end of May? Sagittarius. We have walking away energy, leaving something behind that is no longer emotionally fulfilling and or moving towards something that is more emotionally fulfilling. With the moon here, it's kind of like something may still be hidden or something that you don't understand. There could also be temporary depression that comes with this decision, but ultimately it leads to the sun. It leads to happiness. It leads to a better environment for your children or more time with your children. It leads to joy, finding your joy. So for some of you, this won't be necessarily a person you're walking away from. This could be a career path. I mean, it could be a marriage, but it could also be your career. What you thought you were supposed to do, maybe you're finding out you have another passion. This is just pulling away. This could just be pulling your energy away from someone who's toxic. Or choosing to to kind of grow into this this energy of taking responsibility for yourself and saying I'm not going to hurt anybody anymore. I don't want to use anybody anymore. Something is not emotionally fulfilling. It's like there's all these cups, but it's not enough. Like in a relationship, well, we may have money, but the love is gone. Or we may have money and love, but you know, people around us cause too many issues or whatever the case or I need to move to get a better job I need to leave and travel somewhere else to have more fulfillment to be more to be more stable and happy so whatever that means for you it could be emotionally it could be physically leaving something behind you decide Sagittarius there is things coming in now where you you have more passion and more more uh, encouragement or motivation. You have more energy coming in and this is a quick, quick moving energy. So let's see what lessons have been learned here or what lessons are being learned. Sagittarian energy. This is the soul journey, the soul's journey lesson cards. What lessons are being learned by Sagittarius at this time from now to the end of May, please? Jumpers, please. Perseverance. So don't give up, Sagittarius. You're going to have to work at this with this Knight of Pentacles probably for a while. It's not going to be instant success, but you're going to be doing something that makes you happy and at least makes you feel more fulfilled. Your affirmation is, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. 
Any other lessons for Sagittarius? So stick with it. Whatever it is, don't give up. Abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Right? Living in the moment, here and now. Let your gifts be seen. Travel in a new direction. Yep, and it's time to step up. It's time for a new, a new change here, Sagittarius. Let's get one more card from the angels before my camera dies. Please like and subscribe. Please share this reading if you think it can help someone. Please comment below if you found that it resonated or even just a few cards that resonated. Please put that below so other people can read it and it's also confirming for me as well. This is from your angels, giving and receiving. The entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, give, or you only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe for optimal health, energy, and replenishment. Balance each inhalation of your life with an exhalation. So rest, give to others when you can, and allow yourself to receive this abundance, okay? Keep pushing forward. You have this sun card. It's one of the best cards you can get. So this is your advice. Go where you are more, more emotionally fulfilled, where your life is happier. Okay? Giving and receiving. It's vital that it is equal. And that you can receive, that you're open to receiving. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Please enjoy this lunar full moon in your sign and use it to your advantage.